Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It is Monday, August 21st. Beautiful, blessed morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hey. Ho. Hey. Ho. Happy Monday. How are you guys doing this morning? This morning. I hope you're okay. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm a little, still a little down. Not a hundred percent, you know, but not bad either. I'm, 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 I'm blessed. <laughs> um, God is good. I'm gonna hope you guys said your prayers this morning, not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but for all your brothers and sisters in Christ out there. Um, and I hope you are treating people the way God would treat people with grace, mercy, and kindness. And just continue to expect great things, you guys. Um, I definitely am. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing how oh, God is going to bless me. I'm not perfect by no means, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm doing my best. Um, there's more, obviously, I could do, especially when it comes down to reading my word. <coughs> I did not go to church yesterday, guys. I didn't do anything really this weekend. Too much aside from I had to go to the grocery store. Well, it's so good. Just need to be hotter. I did go to the grocery store on Saturday and just get a few things. I had to go to three different stores. Um, I think I put it in a video. <sighs> I didn't record it. I want. <sighs> I wanted to, but phone issues. <sighs> Just, um, there was so many people out. I just did not want to be out. I wasn't, I was not in the best of moods. <laughs> you know, I try to be as honest and upfront. I don't just want to feel when I'm, you know. <laughs> you know, but sometimes you just feel that way, you know. Um, doing everything I can to not be down or not feel sad. I'm not going to claim depressed by no means. I've learned to recognize and, and not accept that. And I'm trying hard not to accept feeling the way I feel right now. But I do. I feel a little down. I uh, have all weekend since Friday. Um, off and on not feeling well. S seats. Sneezing fits. <laughs> Money nose and things like that. So it could just be allergies. Um, it's when I feel nauseated and get the really bad headaches that it's like, okay, I'm done <laughs> for now. I'm just I'm gonna tap out, <laughs> right? And that's how I was uh, Friday afternoon, among other reasons, and then um, Saturday off and on. I was really. I did a video. I was sitting in the car. Um, I was out with my youngest son, and I was talking to my daughter, and I was just laying in the car. She was like, why are you laying down in the car? And then my son was like, why are you out here? It's hot. And I was like, that's why, you know, I'm not feeling real, and I need to lay down. You know what I'm saying? As hot as it was, it would make no sense for me to stand there. I would probably fall out or throw up, and that's what I did not want to do. Um, so it made sense to just, okay, take a minute and lay down. And that's what I did. And I was we talking to her. And before that, I was talking to you guys. But, you know, I tried to upload all the videos that I had um, yesterday. And um, I went through my phone and, and just deleted a lot of stuff that was so old. And I just couldn't even see how I could make sense of it. Um, so I just got rid of a lot of stuff. What I did not get rid of was... Uh, my dad's um, ser sermon that he, the last one that he had preached, 
um, before getting sick. And I've had I've had it for so long because you know um, Jeremiah ended up breaking his phone and needing mine, and then when he did give it back, um, it was so busy with work and so on and so forth that I just never got to it. And so I tried to work on it yesterday, um, but it just the files weren't transferring like I needed them to. I was able to transfer one file from my phone to the um, Chromebook and that was a, a picture of Shane and I'll probably share that um, and I have a picture of Chapo and I'm going to put the two, try to put the two together because they look just the same to me as this one's a cat, one's a dog and looking at Shane he just has so much personality you know um, and it was a picture of him 27 years ago it was on Facebook, it popped up, uh, my sister, I think, put it in the messages. I was kind of in my A yesterday, every now and then I would look at something, um, but um, he was such a character. At first he did not like the camera, like, if you put the camera on him, he would turn away, like, he wasn't having it at first, and then he kind of somewhat got used to it. Um, and this picture is so funny because he, he was looking like, oh, just go ahead. <laughs> oh, he was such a character and I miss him so much. I really do. I really do, but I, I would never get another uh, dog. I never was going to get another pet, period. But I felt like, you know, a cat would be a little bit simpler. But he's destructive. <laughs> I never thought a cat would be destructive. But, um... I don't regret anything. I really don't. Um, but I do miss him. I really do. <laughs> I do. Um, I was going to say something and I just forgot. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, yesterday, you guys. So, Sunday. I woke up. And, uh. Let my sister know I wasn't going to church. I laid back down, went to sleep, woke back up, fixed myself some breakfast, watched a little TV while I ate the breakfast, went back to sleep. So I pretty much slept throughout the day. Um, and when I did wake up, I would turn and watch something. Um, I didn't do really much of nothing um, until that evening when I woke up and I felt a tad bit better. But my spirits were still low, like I'm still just down, heavy. Um, but I did get up, I did um, clean up a bit. I baked the cake yesterday, chocolate and car uh, vanilla. Um, I was gonna video that, but then I just didn't feel like it. I even video myself. Um, the last time I made donuts um, with the dough, I rolled it out, made the little holes, put it in the thing. It was bright. Made the creamer and everything, the icing and everything it was pretty cool. But um, I deleted that. quite destructive just in everything is it the color stop scratching on my couch but um, but yeah so I deleted it anyway <laughs> anyway um Today is, oh, yesterday, one of the, I watched a movie yesterday evening. I watched a couple of movies yesterday. Um, nose is running. I, I watched, throughout the day, I found myself watching R&B Money with uh, Tank and Jay Valentine. They're kind of funny to me. 
and they, they you know interview different people different you know celebrities um, I watched them interview Lil Mo she's hilarious beautiful voice um, I watched them interview a couple of people they're funny <laughs> they're really funny um, I watched Portable. I was trying to remember the name of it. I watched Portable Door. It's on Prime. And it was actually really good. Um, the young lady that played, her name is Sophie Padding, Sophie something. And in the movie, her name was also Sophie. And she, I'm, I'm sure this is the same little girl that played in... There was a Netflix movie that came out, pretty much all black cast, and it was about a man who was a creator. Um, it was sort of a, um, chocolate factory type of vibe, kind of, I forget the name of it, but there was a, a young little girl, black girl, she's so pretty bow um, that played the main character, she's kind of, I think her character made me think, makes me feel like she's a bit eccentric in real life, um, if that makes sense, um, there's something different about her, and I believe this is her now much older, um, you know, her hair is cut really short and pretty, um, and she still has that kind of eccentricness about her. I can't explain it. But she's in this movie. And I forget the guy's name. Patrick something. And I can't even remember what else he played in. But he played in a lot of different pictures. And I like him too. He's very funny and cute. A white boy. And Caucasian. However you want to say it. Um, but their chemistry together was very cute. And they get a job at this place and he woke up that morning and it seemed like everything was off like his shoelaces kept breaking and, and uh, this was dropping this was falling his pants had some kind of stain in them and you know he was running late I, I, I think he was on his way to an interview or something I don't know adult I think took something from him and he had to chase the dog to get it back and then there was uh he was in this line I forget because while I was trying to watch it I was doing other things so I, I may go back and rewatch that beginning but his beginning his morning started off really rocky and crazy and um you can tell he didn't have a lot yeah um on, on he was in some line I don't know what happened but um, there was this guy that kept saying, oh, hey, he called his name. You don't remember me? Nah, nah, nah. You know, like as if he was one of his teachers. And he just couldn't remember who it was. He didn't know who it was. And anyway, he was chasing the dog to get back something the dog took from him. And the alley that the dog led him down, um, I guess there was a, a, a something outside saying help wanted or something. I forget come in to fill out an application anyway he goes in and it's just like a weird factory it's a little off and he's looking around and there's you know Sophie sitting there um, and she looks back at him and she turns back around she's so eccentric like and the t a TV is on and she's looking at it like she's studying it <coughs> and he was talking to her like and you could tell like she was looking agitated or aggravated or disturbed or all of the above by him communicating with her like oh you're bothering me kind of you know I'm busy and so he sat down next to her kind of quiet and he's looking at the brochures picks up a beautiful brochure and he opens it up it says it was all black on the inside with is this your lucky day or something I forget that was in there he was like what the heck is this you know
anyway it, it's really good it was cute it was cute and the way it started off it was a bit confusing at first um but obviously something was going on and the whole thing really was confusing in the beginning to us as it, it was obviously to him and he goes in um she's already there but they call her him in and i think the reason why she was already there because they had already dealt with her i don't think she remembered but they call him in and they sit him down there's like maybe uh one two three four five people interviewing him and they're asking him questions and it's so crazy because his answers his answers could go one or the one could only go two ways one they would be intrigued by the honesty and might hire you to see how you would do to give you a chance two they might be like you know get up out of here because he didn't know nothing about the company he just saw the sign he didn't know anything about what they did or who they were who they was asking him questions about a job you know what do you do what, in between jobs I don't have a job what are your experience what are your um, uh, what are you good at nothing don't know <laughs> it was it's just like that you know and it was just so weird it was so funny and they were just looking at him like and they're interviewing him but he keeps looking at the wall like you can tell he's distracted he keeps looking at the wall and so one guy is like, what are you looking at? Why are you so distracted? Da, 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 da. And so he told him, he said, ah, well, he said, the wallpaper. And he was like, well, what about it? And he went on to explain how there's a map. <laughs> you know, look at the wallpaper. You don't see da, 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 da. So he was clearly able to see something no one else could. And they all looked at each other, right? Um, because they knew a little bit something more than obviously they knew a little bit about what was going on what was really there or whatever anyway long story short based off that interview he knew he wasn't going to get hired <laughs> when he got home to his roommate who was supposed to be helping him pay the rent but when he gets there the roommate was moving out and anyway uh, he gets a letter in the mail like while he's talking to the roommate is crazy because that to me was spooky while he's talking to the roommate, someone's at the front door turning the knob. Like, that's crazy to me that it's kind of spooky that somebody would turn the knob. Not ring, not knock, but actually turn the knob to try to enter your home. You know, open the door, right? But if the door didn't open and they're they not noticing somebody's, you know, wiggling that, you know, door. And so then the mail hole. They opened the mail hole, and it's like the hand that came through was kind of spooky. And it was like, they don't see that, you know? And they threw a mail, the letter in, and that's when he got the letter saying he was hired. Anyway, I'm going to go, I'm not going to tell any more about it. I just would advise watching it. It was really good. Portable doors. But that part to me was like, oh my God. Like, I'm sure people experience that in real life you could be sitting somewhere and you don't even know somebody's turning the you know like one time I was here at home and you know I'm always saying lock the front door make sure that the front door is locked so one night I'm in my room and the door is open and you know you can hear everything if someone speaks loud enough I'm sitting here and I hear, I'm hearing a young lady on the phone talking to somebody. She's like, which one is it? I'm here now. Which one is it? Da, 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 da. Next thing you know, she's turning my doorknob. And I was landing and I was like, wrong, wrong apartment. <laughs> she's like, you got me going to the wrong. You know, it was the one she was supposed to go upstairs. But just say if my door was not locked. Right? That's not good. That's not good, especially if you have a pet, you know what I'm saying, and it's not a happy, you know, a pet that takes kindly to people walking in, you know, that's not good, you know, but say she wasn't 
You know, if that was just an honest mistake. Say if I was some nut with a gun that's paranoid, who shoots first and asks questions late, last, her life could have been gone. Or say she wasn't who she was, she could have been an intruder. You know what I'm saying? If my door had been unlocked, they coming in, you know? Um, I remember one time in Des Plaines, we ordered some food, Chinese food. And the guy comes, and instead of knocking, he just opens the door and come in. Are you kidding me? And the dog was straight. Shane was just like, what the? Running that, in that direction. And thank goodness we were all there. Um, and the reason why the door was unlocked was because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it had went to the door. Um, to go to the guy but then forgot something and went back really quick but the guy got up the stairs so fast I guess but anyway that was that was mental he was like dude why would you turn it if the door's not open yeah wait not nah. why would you just open and feel the need to just walk right in you know why would you do that and it's crazy because sometimes we we will order food from the same people all the time so I think they kind of just got used to us I don't know anyway that was that was weird uh, I don't I just don't think he was paying attention to be honest or maybe he thought he heard come in I don't know <laughs> but anyway um, yeah so that was a good picture and then after that I watched um, I ended up watching Mutant Ninja Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I think it was the 214, 2014. It was the real one with the real turtles. And with April O'Neil, um, I forget her name, Megan something. Um, she played in Transformers, the original one. Um, I really like her. Um, I don't know if she's still married to him, but she had married um, the boy off of 90210, long, long time ago. So, um, but anyway. It was an old teenage, but it was a good one when it was, you know, real. You know, I really liked that one, and how they moved, and, you know, it was good. And it's so funny because I actually sat here and jumped off one scene. And it was the scene where um, everybody was running, and she gets out the, um, the news van, and she runs toward where everybody's running from. And she's, what are you guys running from? But excuse me, excuse me, but nobody would answer her. So she keeps running, and she runs to the subway, and she goes down, and, um, you know, she sees these ninjas, these people in black or whatever, so she's trying to see what's going on, so she's waiting around the wall, she's hiding, she's peeking, and then she goes closer, and she's standing behind this pole, all of a sudden somebody behind her grabs her, and that's what, that what made me jump, because that is what made me jump, is because I wasn't expecting it. Even though I had seen the picture before, it had been a long time since I seen it, and uh, it just made me jump because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Nothing was scary about the picture, I mean, but I jumped, you know, and I was cracking myself up. I was like, really? <laughs> Why am I jumping? It's just simply that I was not expecting it. Um, also, on Saturday, guys, Saturday night, I watched Blue Beetle. I forget what I watched prior to that, but I watched Blue Beetle, movie that came out. Um, I got my Blue Beetle popcorn tin, I got my soda, um, my popcorn, and my straw, and um, I watched Blue Beetle. I think my daughter and the kids are going to watch it as well at the same time. Um, but she said she, when I asked her about it on Sunday, she said she had fell asleep, but she going to watch it again. Which I wasn't surprised. She had been doing a lot, getting the girls ready for school today. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing day today. Sorry. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. Remember to stick together, okay? Um, remember to trust God and just go in there and shine and be yourself. You guys are beautiful and amazing. Two of them are starting today. The two oldest. Um, they're so beautiful. Um, 
I'm only gonna talk to you guys a few more minutes. It's 8:06, but it was. It, I liked it. It was really cute. It was really good. Um, what's his name? Lopez. Oh, can't remember his name. It's always he. He was a nut. Uh, what is his name? George Lopez. <laughs> George Lopez to me is he was funny and that definitely has gotten older. Um he was quite hilarious. I, I think I'll watch it later today when I come back from donating uh on the bigger screen. Um he was hilarious. He cracks he cracked me up in this how he was acting, the screaming and uh, when the boy took his truck and kind of messed his truck up and came back and parked it, <laughs> I think I had left out, so I missed the beginning part of, of what happened there, but uh, all I know is he was out, everybody was sitting at the table, he was outside, I guess he was screaming and clowning, he was like looking around, and it was so funny, He was, when he came back in, wait, what happened? Something happened to his truck where... He was like, ah, ah, oh, and when the boy first took the truck, when the boy first took the truck, they was all in the house talking and ah, 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 now realizing that the boy had left out and took his truck. And then that's when the dad was like, uh, mijo, you know, not mijo, what did he call him? I forget, back his, you know, whatever his name was in the picture. He was like, uh, you might want to see this. And he looked and the boy was pulling off of his truck. He was like, ah, ah, and he fell all out, all, all down the window, rolled all down the wall. Like a kid having a fit, it was so funny, and he just fell out. Like, ah, <laughs> it was the way he did. It was too funny. Um, all the screaming that he was doing, it was just funny. Um, but I did like the fact that you know they were a family that <coughs> minority um, struggling, but they stuck together. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, obviously. It's not real, you know, a lot of the scenes, this, that, and the other, but the meaning behind the scenes and so on and so forth was, was you know, sticking together, you know, um, through thick and thin, didn't matter what it was, sticking together, trusting one another, uh, using the abilities that you have. We all have a time and point in our lives where we just don't know or we're confused, don't know which way to go or how this is going to work or turn out. But it always does, you know, and, and I can I can contest to that because I can remember many times myself being in situations that I put myself in, honestly, um, and there just there was just no way out, and I'm sitting and thinking, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do? Because it's not just me, you know what I'm saying? If it were just me, it wouldn't bother me as much. Okay, I would just figure it out you know um and it's 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 just I, you you find yourself sitting and thinking oh i can't wait for two or three months from now so that i can be out of this particular situation and either moved on to the better to see where am i going to be what's you know what's going to happen you know right now it's just fear it's uncertainty right um it's just not a comfortable place to be, you know, and you never want to put yourself, when it comes down to certain situations, you never want to put yourself in the spot where you're just unsure, you just don't know. If He just needs so much attention. You're just going to keep going. My shirt clean and don't have no cat fur, but I'm gonna pick you up now. I'm gonna have cat fur everywhere. Everywhere. You looking at my glasses I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, guys, it's 18. I'm gonna go ahead on and um, end it here um, so that I can start get ready for work. Um, you guys have an amazing day today. Um, if I don't speak to you throughout the day, I'll definitely follow up with you on tomorrow because it's real. Um, but I will try to stop scratching my couch.
stuff scratching my couch cat. That's it. I will try to follow up with you guys um, throughout the day. Stop it. Scratching my cup. <laughs> anyway, let me go put my coffee in the microwave. Get ready to work. I guess I'll take you guys with me while I do that. TV. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope you're all having a blessed day. Um, God is good. Please remember that. I'm a little down right now, but it's okay. Um, I know God is good, right? Um, I just wanted to take a moment to say, remember to expect great things, you guys. Remember to say your prayers for one another and to treat one another the way the Lord will, with grace and, and kindness and peace and mercy. Also, um, to Nessa and Lola, happy first day of school, you guys. Go in there and rock it, stick together, um, and, and trust God, right? But enjoy, enjoy school. Right, enjoy learning as much as you can. Talk to you guys later. <coughs> Sorry guys, that I try to lately I've been trying to say good morning by video to everyone. But sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't. The kitchen is nice and clean. Kitchen is nice and clean, you guys. Those my cake. So while my coffee is heating up, oh, the room is nice and clean. Legs starting to itch because of the cat. <laughs> Sometimes he makes me eat, sometimes he don't. I think I mentioned that before. So let me just... Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> On his way, I guess he said he's finna work too. Alright, take these shoes off. Shut this window because I need a here. I'm doing it again where no, my car. No, they're doing it again where you can't park out front. Looks like all this week. Looks like they're going to be doing some kind of construction again. So he's something. When I get off, I'm going to make sure to remember to clean my keyboard, wipe it down on the cat fur. I wiped down the windows and things this morning, the monitors. Just going to talk to you guys until I sign in. <sighs> Hate I missed Friday, I really do, but <sighs> just had to. And it's crazy because it don't even seem like it, you know. 
I don't know, it seems like when you take off, the time go back quicker. If I hadn't took off, it'd still be Friday. Uh, I don't know, go figure. It's just so weird to me. So weird, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I've already restarted my computer so there's no reason to restart it again all right um you guys enjoy your day as i said before and just uh expect great things i am i know i don't sound like it but i really do expect great things to happen to me through me and for me today and I really hope that you guys do the same. Talk to you later. Bye now. guys good morning it's 10 45 on my first break of the day 10 45 to 11. Ah, be right back quickly come in here. get that, that on and in the oven. You know, I'll, I'll put it on the top of the stove first, and then I'll put it in the oven. So it should be ready by the end of the day. So that way, when I go to film it, I don't have to worry about coming back and finish cooking or anything like that. It'll already be done. There's mac and cheese in there. I just need to add some stuff to it. And that's what I'm going to go with that. I'm not going to make anything. I'm going to eat what's already in there. So there's nothing else. Before I 
take everything out. Go on the way to the So how is that morning one so far? Mine's is pretty busy. Pretty busy. So on Thursday before I left work, Thursday I took off a little early because I wasn't feeling the best. I took off the last few hours at three. This cat got dang cat food everywhere. Why can't you eat this cat food without wasting it? And dragging it all over the floor. Try to make sure, you guys, that I eat my three meals. Try not to unnecessarily stuff myself in between my meals, you know? Hey, hey, stop it! And it's been a busy day today. Um, when I left Thursday, it was right after I did my training. I remember I said I did about 14 of them. I wasn't sure if I got everything right. I felt like I may have had one wrong. Well, when I logged in today, I looked at the email. I got all 14 right. No mistakes whatsoever. Awesome. The day before, um, I got them all right. It was just one some one um one something they had advice on so nothing was actually wrong um so tomorrow um i will do i am scheduled to do one hour a day of the enrollment if i do not make any mistakes then i'll be able to move on hopefully i'll be able to get through it and with no problems no issues um, because I don't want to let anyone down, and it's really not that difficult if you pay attention and the more you get used to doing it. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to breeze through that. Um, it is very busy today, so no off phone, anything extra. I'm just taking these calls. Um, yeah, it's been kind of off and on busy for sure this morning. I've just been taking my calls. You know, doing what I gotta do. <laughs> um, haven't had anybody, you know, super difficult to talk to or to deal with. Just great. Let me put this in there for one more moment. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat this. Um, because I left a little late, obviously I'm gonna go back a little late. I eat this. I'm only gonna drink water today. I already had my cup of coffee, so 
this water here on out. Ooh, this is hot. Heat it up. So no shrimp oil. Some water here on out. Um, this would be my lunch as well because I didn't eat breakfast. I just had my coffee, so this is basically lunch. So I'll be eating this slowly. And then that's it. Um, on my lunch break, I'll get dinner ready. We'll start it. And then that'll be what I have later today. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's that. I'm going to go ahead and gobble this down. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, again, hopefully you're having a wonderful Monday morning. Um, it's hot. And... I'm a little, like I said, down, but it'll be all right. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, this is on this side. I'm going to... Ugh. Oh, I got it all tangled with... goes doing stuff simple. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Wanted to get that fan on because I am hot. Hopefully it won't obstruct me um, being able to hear people. Anyway guys, I will talk to you later. I'm going to go ahead and eat this food and talk to y'all later. Bye. My lunch, you guys. My lunch was from 12:45. Started at 12:45. busy at first it was not supposed to be training but I guess because I wasn't here to do it when I was supposed to on Friday the last of the training I'm going to be doing it today from one to three and then um well if all goes well then yeah, we'll start off with an hour a day starting tomorrow. So hope all will go well. So I am doing lemon garlic, you guys, lemon garlic pork. Put some kind of crust on it. Wash whatever dishes I use. I need to get back in here and get everything set up so I can get every fucking train. I'm going to be training from 1 to 3. Actually looking forward to it. Not just because it's busy, but because I really want to, you know, get it, get it down pat. So I'm looking forward. Do it. Hopefully it will help the day go by much quicker. 
about to go ahead and donate it home. Um, I'm going to say my ticket today is due today, the 21st. So definitely want to get that done. Oh, I'm not going to use any fresh oil when I have all these oils in here. This is lemon pepper, so, and I have lemon pepper seasoning here. seasonings because it is slightly already seasoned so I'm just gonna put a little bit more lemon pepper on this side And Laville had been making stuff, and you know, my sister and mom, and everyone, you know, but I want to taste a little bit of like when they fry it type of thing. I can do the fry a bit, you know, how they fry it. So, but Laville one time, you know, like this garlic taste, the way he did it was really good. And so it didn't taste too bad, but it still felt like it was something I'm going to go and start cooking and make it for myself. But they were also with the red lobster, and I had that, that garlic shrimp. You know what? I'm going to eat. Without the garlic shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, um... 
a lot of my mind and I was reading a little bit of my book on depression and, and, and anxiety and it was talking about, I read about God's peace, uh, perseverance, you know, um, and love, <laughs> you know, and it was just a, uh, I forget which one it was, but there was a statement in there about perseverance where, you know, we're, you know, when you're running, when people are running races, you're running the race, there's more than one person running, but you're running the race with, in mind, only one can win, and you're running this race to win this race, right? In reading the word, it was saying, basically, what I got up out of it, you ain't running the race alone. God is right alongside of us. Remember, he died for our sins. He came down here and he took on all our sins. He died for us. So as I mentioned before, there's nothing that we can go through and say or do that he has us already, that he won't understand. He understands it, you know, because he died for us, right? So, things that we're experiencing and going through, he's right along with us, right? Um, and then there was something else. Uh, oh God, I forget which one it was, but I was trying to read while working at the same time, like in between calls or whatever. Um, but the, what stood out to me the most was just knowing that I'm not in this alone, you know, and that God already knows exactly what we was going through. Go oh, and how to see uh, the... Uh, Hold on, let me get the book. Okay. So the other one was praise, right? And I may have read this before too, but, you know, we know that God is the creator of all things, right? And no matter what I'm going through, I have to be able to praise Him. You know, there is a reason to praise Him. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason to praise God and no matter what I go through. And I can't think of anything. I think the best thing that I can do is remember that he understands and he's going through it with me. He went through everything with me before me and then some, right? So praise him and know that you know, you know, know that he's bringing me through the darkness, he's, he's into the marvelous light. Um, and that no matter what I'm going through, I, I just need to continue to praise Him. Continue praising Him because He's going to bring me out of it. I need to continue to, per to persevere, right? Um, no matter what my hardships are, no matter what I'm going through at the moment, just continue to remember that I'm not alone. When I'm weary, I need to just remind myself to remind uh, to remind myself to remember that I'm not alone and to continue Trusting and asking God to continue to walk with me. He's on this path with me. And he's going to stay on it with me until the very end. You know, I have to remind myself of these things. And I have to continue to um, be happy and to be at peace. You know what I'm saying? God left a gift. And that gift was peace. Right? And I received that gift. I opened my hands and I welcomed that gift. And I need to live in that gift, in that peace, no matter what I go through. And I have to continue to tell myself these things because it's so easy to forget. It's so easy to get wrapped up. It's so easy to get sidetracked and overwhelmed with things to the point you forget, God got me. It seems like there's no way. It seems like there's no, what's going to happen? What's, you know, but I have to trust God. And I have to trust God not just when something's going on, but before. Because if I'm trusting God and I'm doing what I gotta do to walk the right path, the correct path, 
he's going to help me to not make mistakes. That put me in a situation where now I'm worried and I'm wondering and I'm this and I'm that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's just it's really good when you can take that word and study it, apply it. You know what I'm saying? Make it yeah, make it work. <laughs> right? <laughs> on each side of this meat. Let me show it to y'all. See that? Beautiful, right? And the collar. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm out of bra. Put my top over there. Put it in the oven. Set in the oven on two, three hundred. Between two, no, actually two seventy five. Between. 200 and 300, so it's 275. Sorry, for a minute. Wash your dishes. So I'm gonna let it cook. over eating it's hot before we was let me show y'all my cake too that I made gorgeous it's my cake I just made last night I don't know I'm slowing down so I start cooking and he's, he's not eating, actually. He's in his litter box. But he was in there eating and scraping. So, now that that's in the oven, it is 12.47. So, I'll let it cook until 1.47. Then I'll check it at 1.47. Let me handle this one, y'all. Talk to you guys for a minute, and then I'll go back in there. I'll go back in there about... Ah, to 55, and then we have to log into all the necessary apps I need to be in to train. Okay. So the next one I was about to read is is prayer. Okay, and it says here, Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I pray to you. I wait for you. I wait for you in hope. Never stop praying. Never stop praying, y'all. The Lord does not listen to the wicked, but he hears the prayers of those who do right. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Prayer. Never stop praying, y'all. I don't care what we go through. I don't care how it seems like it's impossible to come out of. We must continue to pray and trust God. Um, thank you, Father. That prayer is simply communicating with you. Thank you that you aren't looking for perfect words, but for an honest and open heart where all I can say is help. That is much a prayer as anything I could script. Today, let this be the beginning of our conversation. What can you pray about right now? Come on. <laughs> what can I pray about right now? What have I been praying about? Like, there's so many things. There's so much. Um, but 
you know, I know that God hears me. I know that He does. Hey, Chapo. What? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? He just got to step on me. He's gonna walk on me at some point. Like, I, I've been working and he's been in the bathroom. He hasn't been able to get in my room. And I think, you know, to him, that's like, oh my God. You know, because he's so used to just being up under somebody. You know, unless there are kids here. And there's kids here. You don't see Chapo. Until they sleep. Or very, very quiet. Then he might, you know, pop out and see what's going on. Just trying to put my hair in the ponytail. I get on his nerves too when I move around too much. <laughs> but he trying to get comfortable on you. In 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 the, all up in your personal space. He trying to get comfortable in your personal space. Don't move too much. Because then he'd be looking like, look, and there he is. I don't know what he is about to stop it, Chapo, my computer. He just got, he just has to, I don't care where it is. If it's open, he has this thing where he has to come and rub up against it, his face, like he's trying to knock it over. And then he has to just, for some reason, step on it, on the keys, or sit on it. Okay. I know I did that wrong, but. What are you doing? Chop. What are you doing? Hmm? Stop messing with stuff. Stop messing with stuff. Hmm? Stop messing with stuff. <laughs> so rotten. So rotten. You're just so rotten. <laughs> You're just so rotten. You just need so much attention. Hmm. Anyway, guys, yeah, so oh, it's so hot in my room. I keep turning the fan on up, down. Um, now that I'm about to train, I'll go ahead and turn it up high um, so that I can get some air because I've been having to have it down low and at times turn it off altogether. Oh, um. I was looking for just going through YouTube uh, when the phones weren't ringing and I came across these triplets I forget their names but I had seen them before in the past you know every now and then I'll stumble upon them I, I subscribe today to their channel um, but the last time the first time I I caught them they were young they were really young and you know they they seem now that they've gotten much older, their voices are much stronger. They sound much, much better. They're so pretty. They're identical, all three of them. The last time I ran across a documentary, I think they had gotten sick at one point. Um, and so this time I was scrolling and I saw a video and I, I clicked on it of them singing and it was so beautiful. Oh my God. It was so beautiful. Like my heart filled like I wanted to cry for a moment like the song was so beautiful their voices were so soft and kind of an an angelic like so pretty and I forget their names I'm gonna um, check and maybe the next time I talk to you guys I'll be able to tell you what their names are I'm trying to think like I read this book I was reading it to you guys at one point with me every morning and I just got turned, I stopped reading it and the other one. And so, some of the stuff I, I'm reading, I think, for some reason, I felt like I've already read it, but I don't think I didn't. Uh, nonetheless, I'm going to end it here today with Promise, okay? Um, so that'll be what I read next. That'll be the next thing that I read. 
Um, it's 12.54, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I have some things I want to check on before I go in there and get started. Uh, in your face. In your face. <laughs> it seems like the more aggressive, like when you're rubbing him, he loves that more so than anything. See what I'm doing? He, if right, and then sometimes he'll do that. But he seems to really enjoy, like, I don't know if that's what they used to with their their moms or whatever, how they kind of pick them up and drag on them or whatever, bite on them, um, not to hurt them or whatever, but, you know, moving them and carrying them around. But he seems to really like that when I rub him like that. And when I stop, he, he doing what he's doing now. <laughs> Looking at me like, who told you to stop? Oh, he not no. That made you sleepy. Mm -hmm. All up under my thigh. All up under my thigh, cat. Say hi to sleep. You should go get with this shit. But you always gotta put it in my face, huh? Hmm? Why? Why she always gotta put it in my face? You know, he's just like Shane was. You don't get looks. Stop looking at me. You don't wanna look up at the, at the picture, at the camera. Don't wanna look this cheek. Huh? What is the problem? Hmm? Why do you keep putting that in my face? <laughs> you don't like the camera at all. Like, get, get up out of here, girl, with that mess. <laughs> anyway, guys. Um, let me go and wash my hands. Um, you guys, I know my bra all twisted up, Jesus. Uh, anyway, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I washed this shirt out and I hung it up on the... Um, hanger and the hanger I think stretched it and it's pulling it out all around the neck look, look, this cat y'all got his foot all up look you comfortable foot all up on my arm all up under my legs I can't move you comfortable cat is there anything I can get you Cup of coffee, anything. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I bumped him. But he's something else. Anyway, yeah, guys, I'll talk to you later. Uh, I am starting to feel a little bit better after reading that word. Uh, my glass is super crooked. I am starting to feel a little bit better after reading that word. I'm really hopeful and, and again, looking forward to. Um, great things, you know. I'm just expecting great things to happen, and I know that don't sound too, you know, like, you know, um, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, I'm not perfect by no means. <laughs> I like when they cross their arms like that, right? Shane used to do that too. I like when they do that. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, let me get up. Excuse me, cat. If you don't mind, I'm getting up. All right. That okay with you? He cracks me up. He looking like what? She moved? What? 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 You doing? What? 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 You doing? What? What? What'd you do? What you about to do? Why you can't just sit yourself still, huh? What? You going in that room again? You going to work? I can't go. I can't go. Oh. <laughs> I truly believe if that cat could talk, I honestly and truly believe it would be with a Russian accent. <laughs> honestly, I believe he would just be saying some stuff, y'all. Truly. I washed out some things yesterday. I'm just hanging them up so they can dry evenly. Ooh, y'all, my kitchen smell good already.
All right. No, that's done. Oh, my pants falling off. My shorts. Chop. Gotta go, bro. Twelve fifty nine. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit later, okay? Yeah. Oh, again. Again with that camera. But why? Go, go, go. Get on the bar here. Turn this lights off. Alright. He'll be at the door in about 10, 20 minutes. Let me wash my hands right here. Yep, already at the door. I decided to use the bathroom. Grab me an apple. Um, I'm gonna try to eat more apples when I feel like I just have to munch on something. It's obviously much healthier. keep making me sign back in. Connection. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. It is back to work at the Talk to you later.